This is the software we're going to be using. Now, once you log into Streamlabs, this is how it will appear. This is where you can create a donations alert, subscriber alert, a member, super chats, merch. This is how you will have the alerts to be displayed. Below, you can choose a custom sound. So again, it's really, really simple. Just before we get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. And if this tutorial helps you, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Here we are on Streamlabs. This is the software we're going to be using, and we're also going to be using the website. So firstly, all you need to do is head over to the website, which will be in the description. Simply select download Streamlabs. It is 100% free. Now, once you open it, it will look like this. Now, for those that do currently use OBS Studio, for example, once you first download Streamlabs, you can actually import your OBS settings directly into Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you are going to be streaming, then I would highly recommend using Streamlabs OBS as well. It's a very, very good software. So heading back over to Streamlabs website, what you want to do is simply select log in. As you can see, you can log in with your Twitch, your YouTube, your Facebook, and then also at the bottom here, you've got the Mixer, Periscope, Picato, and PayPal. Now, once you log into Streamlabs, this is how it will appear. Now, it's very good. It gives you a lot of analytics. However, to actually create the alert, you will need to log into this as well. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the side here where it says alert box. From here, this is where you can create a donations alert, subscriber alert, a member, super chats, merch, and then also at the bottom here, you can see other things right here. Now, just at the top here, you can see other people have created alerts. So you can, by all means, use them. However, I would recommend that you be unique and you use your own or make your own. Now, if you're not good with graphics, it's very simple. Just go on to Fiverr. You can hire someone for about $10. They'll make you a really nice one. Now, scrolling down, as you can see, we're going to start off on the general settings. So this is where you can choose the background color. Now, as you can see, the background color is for preview purposes only. It will not be shown in your stream settings. So just remember that you've got the alert delay. I've got mine set to five seconds. So I may have it to 10 seconds or you may not just want that. There's unlimited alert moderation delay. This that means you'd have to approve every single alert, which you probably don't want to do. If you're a larger Twitch streamer, of course, you've probably got moderators that can do this for you. Therefore, you can disable that for now, unless, of course, you want that on. Now, here it says layout. This is how you will have the alerts to be displayed. So as you can see at the top, you can have a picture below the text. You can have a picture and then on top of the text, or you can have a picture on the side and on the right side, the text. So there's different types you can pick from right here. I'm going to be picking the middle one, which is a background image and text on top. You've also got alert parries. Again, you can see new alert will interrupt the on screen alert. So I'll keep that disabled. Then you've got the profanity filter. So any bad words that you want to add, by all means, you can add them simply right here. Now, just to be on the safe side, every time you're doing something, I would just simply select save settings. Now, going on to donations. So this is where we're going to be creating the donation alert. And once again, you get the layout. How do you want it? Do you want a picture on top, text underneath, a background image with text on top, or an image on the side and text on the side? You pick, it is completely optional. Underneath, we then get the alert animation. You can, can pick how you want this to be. So you can see you've got a variety of things here. The cleanest ones are probably the fades and then the ones which are sliding in from the left and the right. So for example, I'm going to use the slide in on the left. And then for the fade out, I'm going to be changing this again to another slide, but this time it will be sliding out on the left. So it will slide in from the left and slide out on the left. Then continuing on, you can see we've got open text to speech, completely optional again, if you want to change anything from here. To be honest, the settings are probably going to be okay but you can obviously experiment the minimum amount to alert. So you can obviously set a, a minimum amount. For example, if you set a minimum of $10, but if someone donates $5, then it won't show up on your stream. This probably again for the bigger streamers who get loads of views and loads of donations. And here you've got a message template. So as you can see, we've got this bracket here, name donated, and then it shows another bracket and amount. So what it will come up, for example, casual savage donated $5 exclamation mark. And that is how it will appear. You can, by all means, be as creative as you want to. For example, I will just completely swap this around. 
So I'm going to delete this and we'll start off with the amount. So it'll say the amount donated by then the name. So as you can see, simple like that, how you can just play around with how you want it. Underneath we've got the text animation. Again, pick anything you want to. There's no right, there's no wrong. Just be creative and see what works best for you. As you can see, there's a little sample here of how that looks. So we can pick bounce. And as you can see, you can just pick through and see which one you like best. Now be wary, a lot of people stream on tablets and phones nowadays. So you don't want something too big to take up the entire screen. Now here is where you can choose a custom image. So I'm going to change the image just to show you obviously it works. And of course it can be anything that is on your computer. Now this is the only picture I've got, which is a Ferrari 458. So I'm just going to select that. As you can see, it's loaded up. I'm just going to select select. That's now been picked. So that will be the background image of the alert. And then of course the text will be on top of that. Below you can choose a custom sound. So currently the default sound is this. And all you need to do again is select change media. So here I'm going to be using a whoosh sound effect. I'm just going to select that and select open. And here it is. I'm just going to select select. And now if I play it through, as you can see, that is now the sound effect. Below you can choose the sound volume. You don't want it too loud. You don't want it too quiet. Just something in the background. So I'd say recommend, depending, depending what type of sound effect you have, I'd say a maximum of 70%. And again, scrolling down, you've got the alert duration, alert text delay. These are things you can change if you want to. Now, if you are experienced in coding with HTML, CSS, and also Java, then you can enable the custom uh, script here. So then obviously once you click enable, you can then customize it how you like. And then here we've got a couple of more settings which we can pick from. So here we've got the donator message settings, as you can see, show message, the emotes, allow Twitch emotes, and then you've got different things here again. And just below that, we've got font settings. So this is where you can be creative again, choosing a nice different type of font, something that's not, uh, or something that is unusual. Again, just to get people's attention, you can see there's a variety of fonts to pick from. And again, no right or no wrong, just pick whatever you like. Then once again, you can choose the text color and also text highlight color. So I will be changing this now to a yellow, then the background, I will choose black. Just before we go further, you can see you've got the font size. You've also got the font weight. Again, completely optional how you want to change that. And then below, we've got open alert variations. So this is something if you want to do. So I've got Streamlabs back opened. And this is the next step we're going to need to do. First of all, under the sources tab, you need to select the plus button. And from here, you're going to be selecting browser source. Now, from here select add source and you can call this because we've just created donations you can call this donation alert now from here you're going to select add source it's pretty important that you name it correctly because there are going to be a variety of different alerts you're going to be creating now it's asking us for a url all we need to do is head back over to streamlabs on the uh, dashboard over here once you click save settings at the bottom come up to the top and as you can see there's a widget url now all you need to do is select copy, heading back over to Streamlabs, all you need to do where it says URL, press control V, paste that in, I'm going to blur it out and I recommend that you guys don't show yours to anyone either. From there simply select done. Now obviously it's going to be blank but we're just going to position this wherever we would want to. So I'm going to select at the bottom left and I'm just going to size this down. Now I'm going to split the screen. I'm going to show Streamlabs on the right and I'm going to show the dashboard on the left. So what we can do while you're actually creating it, we can test how everything will look. So you can see we've just cre created the donation alert from scratch. And all we need to do is select this button here, which says test donations. So once we press that button, then it will appear on Streamlabs. So here we are, we're going to simply select test donation. As you can see, we got the sound effect. It says donated by John as an example, and below it showed the amount as well. So again, it's really, really simple. That is how easy it is to do. You can see the alert animations we picked, sliding in from the left, sliding out from the right. We picked the background with the text on top. And then below here, we chose the text to pulse like that. We've chose a whoosh effect every time the donations happen. And then of course, we chose the text color as yellow, the highlighted color as black and what I'll do just obviously because it was a bit hard to see on that I'll change that now to a blue it's not going to look the best because of the color scheme 
So we'll test that donation again. Now we've added the changes. And as you can see, it's now updated. We've got the blue text and obviously the yellow in the middle. Now, very important, just to point out, um, I'm just going to close out of Streamlabs now because we're basically done there. You then get on to making your subscribers um, animation as well. It's the exact same thing, so I'm not going to be showing you that again. Same with the members, same with the super chats and the merch, the Cloudbot, Streamlabs, Prime Gift. Everything will be the same. There's no point of me showing you the same thing over and over. Once you know how to do one, it's self-explanatory. If you do need any help, let me know in the comments or just message me on my social media.